Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today we've got something uh, a little different than metalwork or woodwork. Um, as you can see, everybody already knows that I have uh, modified that, and I've still got to put a blue fan right there, and I've got two of them to put in there. I just haven't done it yet. And today we did this to light that up a little bit more. We put blue in there. It's a little brighter than purple. And the purple one was temporary because they uh, they go in the uh, old lady's computer. So uh, today what we're going to do is I modified this and put... Uh, glass or plexiglass in it because this used to have a big old circle in it for a fan to go in and then some swirls or uh, braces that held the center in so I just cut all that out and made it one big glass and then I took this case and modified it with a glass so that I can see everything in it so we're going to do this to the old lady's computer, but we're going to go an extra step. We're going to paint something on her glass after we get it installed in her panel, and we'll go and show you what we got going on. All right, so now this is the computer that I built for the old lady, and we're going to take the uh, side panel off, and we're going to figure out where we want to make these marks. So, bear with me here. I probably should have done this before I started recording. So what we want to do is we kind of want to try to eliminate some of this stuff here. And I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet, but um, basically we got to figure out how to take this part out, the screen for the fan, or we could probably leave that uh, and put a purple fan in here, but then we got, simply because this hole was so close to the edge of this, and if I was to cut right here, I would leave that hole. And then I would have to match that hole putting one right here, but I don't want to do that. So we're probably going to leave this part in and just kind of work around it and go all the way around and then come up around here. So that will eliminate this, this, and this, and we'll keep this because there's only one place, and I'll show you what I mean. There's one place to put a fan. So I've got two fans that I want to put in here. And she's got them cleaning them up. Uh, so we're going to put one fan here and one in the door from what I can see. And um, so now what we need to do is take us a Sharpie as soon as I find one. Just hold on and I'll find me a Sharpie. All right, so what we've decided to do is we're only going to be able to put one fan in here for the simple reason this particular motherboard, which is an HP, and I'm trying to steer away from HP, but this is still a good computer. It's still working okay. And the fan, when you unplug it from the board, some of them will allow you to do that and disable it. This particular board will not work without a fan plugged into it. Well, the fans that we have are 80 millimeter, and there is holes to mount an 80 millimeter fan, but it won't plug to the board. So we're going to have to leave the original fan in here, and we're going to have to use just one fan in the panel. So. We've come up with a design, and we're not going to be able to do the painting on it like we originally planned. Uh, 
simply because it's just not big enough area. But we're going to put a window in here, and because it's got these holes in it right here, and this down here, and this, we decided to just leave this, leave this, leave this, cut this out, and this is the pattern. The reason we're leaving this section here is because of this. We don't want to see that from the outside. We also don't want to see the power supply. We just want to see the board and the light shining on the board. So we've decided to do this pattern. So we've made our pattern up and we've allowed ourselves enough room on each side of this because this is what's going to be actually cut out of this. Now the plexiglass will be cut up to here. So it'll be like a half inch to uh, five eighths bigger so that we can put our screw holes in it and hold the plexiglass. So this is what we've decided to do is that section right there. That way it leaves this, it hides the bays, it hides the power supply, and she's going to have a purple light right here. And we'll get to leave all this and uh, I think that'll work. So I guess the next step is to meet you in the shop. So. Now we can get out of her room and let her get back to her die-hard farm bill, too. <laughs> yeah, she's a farm bill, too, junkie. So, we'll meet you at the shop. Alright, so now that we're out here at the shop, um, we've got this laid out. We've got our pattern made. Now, basically, all we got to do is cover this whole piece with masking tape then we'll lay this on the spot and draw this pattern on it and then we'll go from there so let's get started we've got our pattern laid out then we'll take this and we're going to lay that right there try to keep it as even as possible because you want to allow enough room for your screws when you go to put it on. And I believe that'll work right there. Now we'll take cut us a couple squares. it's straight across the bottom and it is and now let's take and we want to put that tape on the straight side so that all, when you mark make this mark all you have to do is just take a straight edge and go across it
we get to draw our mark. pretty good so now we've got to drill a hole and um, so we can start our um, now we got to make sure that we're not going into this track right here Make sure you don't go into this, which I'm pretty sure we're good, because if you remember when we was putting this up on there, it was just a little bigger than that. So it's bigger than that, so we know we're not going into this. You don't want to go into this, because then you won't be able to put it back up on the computer. So, uh, so now we get to drill a hole and start cutting. So let me get set up for that and we'll be right back. All right, now that we have our setup, we got our drill ready with the drill bit. We've got our jigsaw ready with the brand new blade. So now what we need to do is decide where we're gonna put our holes. And I'm gonna put Now we have a pattern made. Now we get to do some filing. Right, so now that we've got our pattern made uh, or uh, plexiglass, I just had to cut it. Now we're going to find a spot to put this, and we're going to even it out to where you have about the same amount. pattern down on there and 
this time we want the plexiglass to be bigger than this. So what I've decided to do is I uh, had this aluminum rail here that is for shelves in a refrigerator. And we're just going to start off by doing a half inch mark all the way across. Alright, we're going to do that all the way around. So now we've got the piece cut out. I've laid it on here about where I want it. All right? And I've taken a pencil and marked around it all the way around. And you want to put tape on both sides of your piece so that when you get a bandsaw, the, the shavings that comes off of this don't get underneath of it between this and the table and start scratching the plastic up which I've got to doctor this plastic up anyway because it was stuff that was just laying around that got uh, abused and needs to be polished so it's shiny again. So now we know how far apart or how far the edge of this is to the plastic. So now we know where we need to drill our holes. So what we're going to do is decide where we want our holes. But first, I want to, I'm just sitting here looking at the fan. We want to make sure that the fan will actually mount. And it's good. So, we got that taken care of. So now we need to find out where we want to put our holes for our screws. But we got to find our screws first to make sure we get the right screws. So, until I find the screws, we'll be right back. Alright, well we found those screws, and it didn't take me very long to find them. Uh, these here came out of that pop machine that I took the sign off of, and um, I think these will work just fine. They're coarse thread, and basically all we have to do is drill a hole for this to slide through with no uh, restrictions, and then we match up the holes on this part but with a smaller one just enough to where these screws will grab the plastic and uh, not break it and I've had them break on me so now we need to decide where we want to put holes now we want to make sure that we put them in a place where they look uniform so um, First of all, we know this corner needs one. Alright, we have done a test to make sure that we got the right drill bit and the first one I tried uh, a little tight so I went to the next one up and it worked pretty good so as you can see now we're going to go ahead and drill all these holes
guys we got it installed let's turn the light on so you can see the outside of it here uh, we got the panel installed and it looks pretty decent but the problem is them lights are not very bright you can barely see them I mean I can see them better in the camera than I can actually see them in person now let's turn the light off and you get to see what what they look like they're just not very bright and they look blue in the camera they're actually purple so we're gonna leave it this way and when we get some money we're gonna go to advance and get some purple rope lights and we're gonna put a rope light down here in the bottom behind this shining up and then on the top up in there we'll take and put another rope light up in the top and that will brighten that board up but there you have the old lady's new modified computer case I'm Bob. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. We will see you later.